Oh, it's always a bear to get started. Oh, gosh, come on. Oh, returning subscribers. Stand by. I'm trying to get my other computer set up. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. We're getting there. Stand by. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're getting there. We'll turn the audio off so we don't have feedback. And there we are. Okay. Now, what... Uh, I need to get so I can see the chat. Yeah. <laughs> what we're trying to do is uh, do a live show. Uh, YouTube now has a bunch of ways you can do a live show. And I tried one of the new, new ones, and I couldn't figure out how to do a screen share because this particular show is going to be showing you something on my screen. So... I don't really want you to look at me, but um, oh, let's, get, let's get on. So anyway, this is kind of instantaneous, um, not scheduled or anything, and uh, we'll do what we can do. Now, let me do a screen share here. Get off my ugly puss. Okay. And we got to close that down. Now, nope, that's not what I want. This is what I wanted to show you. All right, now let me look at my other computer and see if you're seeing what I want you to see. Okay, and it's delayed. Oh, fifth, there we go. There it is. All right, this is what I wanted to show you. And the idea is the reason I um, decided to do it in a Hangout is to get some feedback. All right, let's get started. Yesterday, I was scanning the shortwave bands and i found a frequency that i didn't recognize and there was um, a show going on on shortwave and i was trying to find out what station it was and i looked at my usual databases on the air and uh, didn't find that frequency so i decided to just go to google and put in the frequency and see if anybody anywhere on the internet knew what that frequency was well, when I did that, one of the sites I found was this one right here. And this is new to me. I don't ever remember going to this site. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's called freqspotter.com, all lowercase. That's freqspotter.com. And it's another database of frequencies. And I just I don't know that much information. Now, what's confusing is down here, let me get this out of my way. Down here, it says 2008 copyright, KG6YPI, Branson Han Brandon Hint, 2008. So does that mean that this website's been there since 2008 that I just didn't know about it? Anyway. So I'm looking for feedback of people have who have used this database on the internet before, because I've I've been playing around with it for about an hour and I'm still struggling about what's the best way to use it and how much information is available, how old it is, where it comes from. I wrote to the author, which his email address is down here. I wrote to him yesterday asking him for information, and he hasn't replied back. Now, maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, that he doesn't maintain his website anymore. That's just there. Um, he is uh, a ham operator. There's his call sign down there, and I looked him up on the ham operator's database, and he's out in California. And uh, I can see I sent him an email. I haven't really heard back anywhere. Anyway, if anybody's used this, please put some uh, information in the chat room. Or if you're watching this show later and not watching it live and you have some information, put it in the comments under this show. So we're going to go try it. I, like I say, I, I'm struggling. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So you can... You can get a band guide. We click on that for a second, band guide. 
And these are band information about all kinds of bands, including down here like uh, weather and aviation, VHF, and all kinds of information. good information. And here's, for instance, the default, uh, which is looks like, oh, it's a listing of all the amateur radio bands. OK, so that's what that is. So let's go back. <clears throat> and then there's a mapper, which will it will show maps of stations. And then there's search. And then there's tumble. And that's to find frequency-related frequency websites. And then coming soon, he says API and Lincoln. OK. So up here is how you do a search. And this is the part that's a little confusing to me. And we're going to try it. So it says search everything. So you've got a list of things you can search. And for instance, we can search the shortwave broadcast bands. And then you can search by a frequency, a description, a call sign, a location, a zip code, or grid score. Now, what I would like to do is search on a range of frequencies, like search on the 31 meter band. So if I put in, if I select frequency, for instance, and I have to put something in this box, and I, let's just try, I'm learning here, though, bear with me, 31 meters. That's what I'm going to put. Probably won't work, but I'm going to try it. 31 meters. No, it didn't work. So I have to be more specific. So let's put in uh, 9.75. Seven five zero, which should be China Radio, if my memory is correct. And we'll do a search. And, oh, now it's selected description. Before, I had selected frequency. Why I did that, I don't know. And this is the number of results you can get per page. And let's try it again. There we go. So here, well, I don't understand that. I told it to search. Oh, kilohertz. Okay, let's change that to megahertz. Search. Okay, there we go. There it is. So sure enough, uh, General Radio is here. A bunch of other ones. So these are all the things it found on that frequency. Again, I don't know where the information came from. Now, now I have some options over here. And one of the options is 31 meters. Let's try that. 31 meters. There, that's what I wanted before. So these are all the stations in the 31 meter band. I don't know why I couldn't get there before, but I got there now. Let me check the chat room for a second. Okay, we got Illinois Citizen. How you doing, Illinois Citizen? Thanks for stopping by again. Uh, I just kind of did this at spur of the moment because I was trying to use this frequency spotter web page for looking up frequencies on various bands. And it does seem to have a lot of options, but I'm, I'm a little confused how to use it. And as I said before, I sent an email to the author. I haven't heard back. Well, anyway, that seemed to work. So now somehow we got to a frequency guide of 31 meters, and here's all the stations on 31 meters, and it says there are six pages. We go to the last page. Let's just go to the last page. So it seems to be sorted by frequency right now. And... It says uh, you got frequency, call sign, station, short information. Most of that is power, location, and randomized again. Now, let's change this to sort down on, by frequency. See what that happens. 
Okay, we're on the first page. So that's interesting. It only started at 9.25. And now I have 215 pages. Hmm, I don't know what that did. 215 pages. Wow, before I only had, what, 14 pages? Let me go back. You can see I'm confused. This looks like valuable information, but I'm confused. Now, this says when I went back to where I had sorted before, my frequency is going up. I was on the last page, which is, oh, it is 250. Okay, so it is 215 pages, so that was my mistake. Yeah, uh, you see, uh, Smoky Hill had a comment about how up to date the database is. That I don't know. I don't know. It uh, if I go back, if I dare go back. Let me see if I can go back to the first page that I showed you. Back here someplace. Um, like I mentioned, it's copyright 2008. And it says up here, um, please note this site is under development. What you are using is a work in progress. Now, is that a work in? It doesn't say when it was updated or when the information that it gets, how old it is. It doesn't say. So I'm in a lost. Let's try, and here's the basic functions right now. Let's try Mapper. And so we've got to put in the search criteria. And oh, look at here. I'm going to say 31 meters, where it is. Right there, 31. That's out. I don't remember seeing that when I first started. And then it filter is none by location. Now, see, this is uh, where I'm struggling again is I want to get all of the stations that are on the 31 meter band, not by a specific location or zip code or, or a grid square. So if I say location, then that's probably from my location that it got from my internet provider and I can only go up to 600 miles. So that kind of limits me. I'm going to do a search. And it didn't do anything so far. Hmm. Well, let's try zip code. I'll put in my zip code and see if that helps. There we go. Okay, but I'm limited to 600 miles. So here are stations that are within 600 miles of my zip code. I really would um, like, and maybe because the results would be too big, is I'd like to go much beyond 600 miles. You know, maybe like, 3,000 miles or whatever. So you can come down here. Let me zoom back in. So here's, these are shortwave stations in the 31 meter band that it found. So here's one right here. This is, I'm pretty sure this is, oh, it's not what I thought it was. This is YFR. And it's at 9.715. Okay, in the Okeechobee, Florida. All right. So if I zoom back out, there's, there's probably Radio Habana. Yeah, 9.820. Okay. But I, like I say, I wish it would go beyond 600 miles. And like I say, I tried by location, zip code, and grid square. Now, if I had a map of the grid squares, I could put in a grid square, say that's over in China or Asia, and then I could get the stations that are over there. That's that's an extra step. All right. Let's go on. Let's go back. Go back to the beginning here. 
I can find that initial page. There's the initial page. That's how I found this. Actually, I found it by the fact that I put in, like, I don't remember the number, say 6.875 megahertz, and it was in this database, and it showed me the results page. All right. So that's shortwave broadcast. Now, this thing is not limited just to shortwave. It's amateur repeaters, AM commercial, FM commercial, shortwave band, frequency guide. That's how. Okay, frequency guide. Let me click on that. And then, no, I'm, tr I'm trying to remember how I got to the selection of 31 meters. Because this is not going to work, I think. Oh, it did. It did work. Okay. But look what it says. Frequency guide marine band. And I didn't search on marine band. Let's go back. As you can see, I am totally confused here. It looks like good information, or it could be good information, but I'm confused, and I did not get a response back from my email from the gentleman who runs this, Brandon. All right, let's try something else. <clears throat> let's try. Now, one thing I was thinking about the other night is FM commercial. And the reason I was thinking about it, number one, is shortwave is not too good right now. <clears throat> and using some of these SDR programs that will decode the data from the radio stations, you can get the call signs. So you can verify quickly what station you are listening to. So I used to do what's called FM DX trying to hear long uh, long distance FM stations. Long distance meaning probably somewhere in the United States. I used to do that as a kid. And uh, it was quite enjoyable. I had a map of Florida, and I used to mark all the stations I would hear at night, best at night, on the FM bands. And the, the thing is, in order to find out what the station is, you have to listen for them to give their call sign, which may only be once an hour. So you use a lot of time. I'm thinking, and I'm going to give it a try, you could use an SDR program that has the decoding capability, such as SDR console, that will decode the data information that is now being sent out from a lot of these FM stations, which is their call sign, uh, what the music they're playing is, who the artist is. So you could get that call sign much quicker, and then you could look that up and verify where they're at, whether they're you know down the street or 600 miles from you. So this would be another source. Let me just do this. We're going to do. Uh, let's do frequency, and I'll change this to 103.3. That's, that's, now, that, this is what's confusing, is I've done this before, and it had this selection over here of kilohertz or megahertz or hertz. It's not there. So let's do the search anyway. Okay, there, there's the selection, megahertz. That's what I wanted. So this says that these are the all the stations, and there are six pages. Now, I think I got confused before when it showed me like seven pages, and then I went back later, and there's 200 and some pages. So let's select last page and see what the number is. Okay, so it is, it's actually eight pages. All right, let's go back. So we have eight pages of records of FM stations broadcasting on 103.3. Now, let me change this. I think this, this is per pay, number of results on a given page. So that should show all of them now. Yeah, it does. All righty. So 
I could so I could be hearing an FM station on 103.3 in trying to determine um, what the station is. And here's their call signs, the power, the output, uh, then who owns the station and where they're located. So again, if I was running an SDR program that would provide this information, such as the call sign, I could figure out where the station is. Now let's go over here to the mapper and see what the mapper shows me. Interesting. It somehow got the location not where I'm at. So let's change this to zip code. And then we'll go 33755. And we'll select as far as we can, which is 600 miles. And then we'll do a search. And there's all the stations um, within 600 miles of my zip code. You can see a bunch of, and probably in most cases, that's the furthest distance I'm going to receive an FM station. There will be exceptions, but this is probably the furthest. So you can zoom in, the mouse wheel here, and pick a, a station like Jacksonville, Florida. You just select that one. There's the information about it. Pretty cool. Like I say, I'm hoping the author will respond to my email and give me some more information about this website called Frequency Spotter. And as one of my viewers asked, you know, how old is the database that he's drawing from? Again, if we go back, if it's on the bottom here. Yeah, this database is copyright 2008. That's pretty old. Now, hopefully he's updating the database all the time, but I don't know. I really don't know if anybody has any information about this website. They've used it. Like I say, I found this yesterday, and it this implies that it's been out there since 2008. Maybe not. So... Check it out. If you have any information, please leave a comment or you can send me an email to trrs73 at gmail.com and give me uh, any information you might have. And hopefully the author of this website will respond to my email that I sent him yesterday. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye. I gotta stop this. Okay, this is it. Stop broadcast.